always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Yeah, and if you are heading out to that Black Pepper Food and Wine Festival, the weather should be great. Low rain chances today, most of us staying completely dry and really not too bad. Tomorrow we start to see those rain chances pick up ever so slightly, but you'll notice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we really start to see that pick up. Tropical moisture moves in thanks to what we're tracking down in the Caribbean, which has a high chance of becoming a tropical depression or storm. And I will get to that in your full tropical update coming up in just a bit. Locally, though, a beautiful start to your Saturday. We're currently dry. A little bit of a dominant Atlantic breeze is going to continue to keep our highest rain chances today. Focus inland. So our coastal and metro zones were pretty quiet as we enter this afternoon, this evening. Few passing clouds, but most of us will not have any rain to deal with. That'll be the case tonight, other than maybe just a stray shower too, being pulled in from the Atlantic Ocean to the overnight time frame. Well, across the tropics, we continue to deal with still quite a bit of activity. We have Tropical Storm Franklin that's now lifting northward into the Atlantic. Couple areas that we're monitoring out into the east and central Atlantic. None of those are worried to us at the moment. In fact, uh, Franklin will not be a threat to the United States as that continues to lift northward, though Bermuda will have to monitor that system closely. What we're really going to be paying attention to as we head over the next few days is this disturbance that's in the North Caribbean. It's this blob of thunderstorms that the National Hurricane Center is giving a 90% chance of tropical development as it lifts northward into the Gulf of Mexico, heading into the early portion of this upcoming work week. We have seen kind of this blob of thunderstorms maintain itself for the past few hours, which is a sign of organization, but this is likely going to take a little bit of extra time to organize, I would say at least for the next day or so, as it still is going to be encountering some land interaction and some drier air to the south of it. So it's just going to kind of meander near the Yucatan Peninsula as we head to tomorrow in the early portion of Monday. From there, it'll begin to lift northward into the Gulf of Mexico Tuesday into Wednesday. Some additional strengthening will be possible as it approaches the Gulf Coast of Florida. This is going to be a Gulf Coast system as far as landfall goes. Where right now we're honing in on solutions that take landfall anywhere from just north of Tampa out across the Panhandle, honing in on kind of that Big Bend region and then lifting northward as we into Thursday. We have seen some model agreement now. This is the European versus the American model. As far as location goes, though, still a little bit more of a spread than what we'd like to see. We'd like to see these clustered a little bit more together as far as the location of landfall goes because that would eventually determine our impacts locally, the magnitude at least of what we would see. Uh, but the focus has been at least for that Big Bend area. Now the thing is we still do not have a center of circulation for models to latch on to. So uncertainty still exists as far as the track goes. If this track managed to get, uh, manages to get a little bit farther to the south, that would mean more impacts for us here in South Florida. But for right now, I would expect some wet breezy conditions Monday through Wednesday. That'll be our time frame of impacts. We should begin to nail down the exact man, uh, magnitude as we into the next couple of days and as that system develops that center. But for now, wet, breezy to even windy Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Improvements by Thursday.